Thanks for tuning in to Bourbon Drop. I'm your host, Myron. Today, we've got the Carters on the channel. No, not Jay-Z and Beyonce. We've got Mark and Sherry. Let's get it. Bottom drop. Bottom drop. If you saw my short, you saw me pick up this bottle and say that it's a batch three. It is a batch three. I thought I found a gem, like a batch three from 2019. No, this is a Prestige Ledroit uh, batch three. It says it is 3PLDC. It is bottle number 666 of 1068. So it was a very small batch. Now, Prestige Ledroit is a big distributing company in Maryland and they distribute for man the list is a mile long but old Carter just happens to be on that list so old Carter blended together three barrels and this is what they came up with now this is non-age stated it has a proof of 117 and of course it was blended by Mark and Sherry let's get into the nose that is a very sweet nose I don't get a ton of oak. It's not age stated, so it's not telling me much about the age. I'm not getting a ton of oak that does not mean anything. I'm getting a light fruit coming out of that thing too, man. It's a little bit of an apple slash pineapple. And a hint of vanilla and brown sugar. All right, let's get into the palette. <laughs> this is why these bottles are so talked about i've never had an old carter never never once had an old carter i see the price on them and i run away and we'll get to the price in a minute i paid a little over retail but we will get into that towards the end so it's it's talked about so much uh amongst whiskey tubers out there that I just had to, especially when I thought I found a batch three from like 2019. Cause I told you, lately I've been on this kick where I've just been picking up Dusties. So let's get back into it one more time. But so far it is brown sugar, burnt brown sugar, almost like burnt edges of pie crust. Let's get back into it. To be 117 proof. That thing is so well-rounded. It is cinnamon, sugar, brown sugar. You've got barrel char. You've got this almost like this. It's almost like the burnt edges of a pie crust. Vanilla comes through. Caramel comes through. It's got a nice butterscotch note. And like I said, at 117, man, it drinks nowhere near its proof. Let's go back into the nose, see if I can pull out anything else. A little bit of a citrus note comes out. But like I said, I am not getting a lot of oak in the nose or on the palate. The, the finish is still going. It is turned into like that dark chocolate cocoa powder. I mean, this thing is amazing. At 117 proof, uh, it just, it, it, it's just, it's surprising the heck out of me how easy it drinks. Let's get into the breakdown. <sighs> Is it worth the chase? You just heard me ramble on about whiskey tubers and how much they talk about this thing. Yes, it is worth the chase. I understand now why people chase these bottles and buy them when they see them because even though they are very expensive, they they are very expensive, uh, they are worth it. Um, there are not a lot of bourbons that I can say are worth over X amount of dollars. I don't want to give the price away just yet, but this is one of them. 
this is definitely one of them. So Mark and Sherry, I tip my hat to you guys, your palate coming from the wine world, coming to the bourbon world. I mean, we are, we are blessed to have you. Is it worth over retail? Yes, I paid over retail. Now, by this being a Ledroit um, release, I don't know if it had a different price, but I think old Carter's typically retail for $199, so basically $200. Bucks. I saw this at the store, $249.99 plus tax, so I walked out the door paying a little over $250. This is the most expensive bottle that I have on the bar at the moment. I do not plan on spending that much ever again on another bottle. It has to be something very, very special. Um, and I will say that this is a very, very, very special bottle. Uh, would I give it to a new Burma drinker? It drinks, it drinks easy enough to give to a new bourbon drinker. I would try and just give a little bit and see if they could handle it because I'm telling you at 117, and I know that I can take high proof stuff, but I've had some other things that come in just above 100 proof hit me way harder than this. So this drinks well below its proof. It is very flavorful. I think I would, I think this is one that I would try and break the rule and give to a new bourbon drinker. This thing drinks so easy, it is ridiculous. Uh, will it always be on a bar? This is gonna be a special occasion pour. This bottle right here, I will not go through. <laughs> I refuse to go through. That is a lot of money. And as I told you before, this is the first old Carter and it might be the last. So with that being said, let the whiskey flow. Never run out unless you're headed to a drop. Till next time.